Welcome to our lecture online. Now the next few, especially the first one of the, the next two, uh, is a bit challenging. They're trying to uh, get us to find the value for x in this one right here. And so when I looked at it for the first time, I thought, hmm, that's kind of strange. Well, it is a, an object that has four corners, four sides. We know that all the angles must add up to 360 degrees. But we don't know two of the angles. So let's call this angle here angle, uh, well, let's call it angle one, and let's call this angle two. So we do know that two times x degrees plus three times x degrees plus the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two must add up to 360 degrees. But there's two unknowns there. We don't know either one, measure of angle one and measure of angle two. Well, we need to have a different approach. So maybe what we could do is we could take a look at this. We could say, ha, ah, we know that the measure of this angle should be half the measure of this arc length right here. So what we can say is we could say that the measure of angle 2x or simply 2x0 must equal one half the measure of the arc length from B to C to D. We can also say that the measure of 3x0, or I should say 3x degrees, is equal to the measure of the arc length from B to A to D. So 3x is equal to one half the measure from B to A to D. And then we can say that the measure from B, C, D plus the measure of B, A, D that should add up to 360 degrees because that gives us the full circle. Now we have a way to solve the problem. Because now we can say that, mm, let's see here. Yes, we can go like this. 2x degrees plus 3x degrees is equal to 1 half the measure of B, C, D plus the measure of BAD, like this. And then if we multiply both sides by 2, we get 2x plus 3x times 2, or 2 times 5x degrees, must equal the measure of BCD, I'm running out of room a little bit here, plus the measure of BAD, which is equal to 360 degrees. So in other words, 10 times x degrees equals 360 degrees, so let me write that here, 10 times, whoop, I'll write 2, 10 times x degrees equals 360 degrees, so x degree equals 36 degrees, so that's the value for the first one. So really what it came down to is using this angle to determine the arc length of this portion of the circle and to use this angle to come up with the arc length of this one, or at least have a relationship, so the sum of this angle plus the sum of this angle equals the arc length of this portion of the circle plus the arc length of that portion of the circle. They don't have to be the same, but the sum of the two add up to 360 degrees and that's how we found x. The second one is actually fairly easy if you see it. They do tell us that the line from C to P is parallel to the line from B to D. So these two lines are parallel to one another. We also told that the line from B to C is parallel to the line from A to P. So these two lines are parallel to one another. So the angle between these two lines therefore must equal to the angle of these two lines. So we can see that here we have the same line. We know that two, these two lines are parallel to one another. So therefore the two angles that are inside those two lines must therefore be equal. So simply said, we know that x degrees equals 30 degrees. Simply by saying that if this line is parallel to this one and they come to the same line here, that these two angles must therefore be equal. And that's fairly straightforward and that's all there is to the second one. So that's easy to see. However, the first one was a little bit more challenging and that is how it's done.